Deep in the heart of the Pacific Northwest, hundreds of miles from the ocean, an incredible creature returns each year to the waters of its birth. Since time immemorial, it has made this journey to the uplands of the Columbia Plateau, between the mighty Columbia and Snake Rivers. Along the way, it has shaped the society and culture of native peoples. The creature, of course, is the legendary salmon of the Columbia River. Hello, I'm Hattie Kaufman, a member of the Nez Perce tribe. The Nez Perce, along with the Confederated Tribes of the Umatilla, the Confederated Warm Springs Tribes, and the Yakima Nation, have reserved rights to harvest salmon and other fish in their traditional areas. These tribes share the common understanding that their culture and very existence depends on the respectful enjoyment of the natural bounty that the Columbia Plateau provides. And almost nothing in that bounty is more important than the salmon. Even with unique languages and cultural practices, the tribes share a regional economy based on salmon. To the extent the resource permits, tribal people continue to fish for ceremonial, subsistence, and commercial purposes, employing, as they always have, a variety of fishing techniques. Tribal people fish from wooden scaffolds and from boats. They use set nets, spears, dip nets, and poles. The connection between salmon and native peoples is ancient and strong. One legend tells that long ago, before the time of people, the Creator called a grand council of creation to announce the coming of humans. They would need help to survive, he said, and asked the creatures to offer a gift to help them. Salmon was the first to stand and offer his life as food for the people. Other animals and plants offered their gifts as well. But because salmon was first, the Creator said every year the people will hold celebrations and feasts when salmon returns from the ocean. Hello, my name is Bill Yallop, Jr. I'm a member of the Yakima Nation and a lifelong tribal fisher. The salmon returning from the ocean is an important time for our people. We use the fish in our ceremonies for subsistence and when there's enough, we look forward to sharing it with all people. Today I would like to give you this fish, Scott and Linda, on behalf of all our fishers who harvest these incredible fish from the river and make it available to you during harvest seasons. <laughs> 